let's jump straight into it. I wanted to talk about EM today. Um, effective microorganisms. You might know it as EM1, EMA, uh, but today I'm just going to show you how to whip it up. And while I'm doing that, I'll talk about some of the benefits. And if you hang out to the end, I might even have some extra uses which you might not have heard before. Right, so this is what you're going to need. You need to get yourself some EM solution. Uh, this is available in lots of places. I'll allow you to find your own sources online. Um, in here we have some rainwater. You want to use dechlorinated water if you don't have access to collecting rainwater. Blackstrap molasses. This is unsulfured. That's going to be our food source for the microbes. Then you're going to need some measuring devices and something to stir with. So we're going to start with the most difficult first, actually. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure out 50 milliliters of molasses. This is the trickiest part. Um, some people recommend doing it with hot water to aid uh, it dissolving more easily but I'm going to show you a slightly different way uh, probably not as easy as the warm water so let me just measure this out Okay, there we have 50 milliliters of molasses. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start dissolving it with the rainwater. And what I'm aiming for is a total volume of about 950 milliliters into this jug, which is a one liter jug. But if I start mixing and dissolving it all the way in, Hopefully it'll be nicely dissolved by the time we get to the end. I suppose this is a good chance for me to talk about some of the benefits that we're going to see from this stuff. So, when we're talking about uh, beneficial microbes, and EM in particular, uh, we're talking about microbes who are working together uh, and each one's life cycle benefits the last. Uh, we have in this consortium in EM, there is lactic acid bacteria, as well as purple non sulfur bacteria, and the final component is yeast, typically. Uh, I say typically, always, but typically, or different manufacturers of EM. Uh, sometimes add their own beneficials. So you might find a consortium with four, maybe even five microbes. Mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix. Uh, so some of the benefits we're going to talk about, or that you're likely to start seeing, is you can really kick start your soil life and start breaking down some of this organic matter which everybody is recommending be added and everyone's adding but so we get to kick start that breakdown process as well as the introduction of any beneficial life or any micro life into the soil is going to introduce more organisms because as soon as there's food for something that becomes food for something else and the soil food web starts to kick off. Uh, we can also be using this not just as a soil drench, but as a foliar application, as in spraying it directly onto the leaves of our plants. Uh, this kind of works as a protective or a protectant. And 
helps prevent pathogens from taking host on the leaves. So things like powdery mildew or botrytis, we can help limit the chance of them taking over or create, causing disease in the plants. I think I'm almost happy with that. We're nearly there. A little bit of molasses residue, but let's go with one more, eh? So once you've got all your molasses mixed up, oh, my my mess. As I say, we're gonna fill this up the rest of the way to 950 milliliters. a little bit shy but that's perfect because now we're going to add 50 milliliters which is equal parts of molasses to em solution so that is 50 milliliters of em being activated and i saved a little bit extra just to give it another little rinse One final tool I forgot to mention will be a funnel. Very useful. So now that we've got our EM active or activating, we're going to pour it into a vessel. Haven't done too badly there for molasses left in there. Now we're going to seal this up for seven to ten days depending on the temperature your uh, house or wherever it's being kept is. Uh, you will be waiting for the pH to get to around 3.5 to know that it's ready to be used. Sometimes I'm a little bit cheeky and I will use it when it's around four <laughs> but use your own discretion. And that is how we expand or activate EM in EM1. So now you've got your microbes mixed up and activated. How are you gonna use them? What are they gonna do in the garden? And what else can you get out of them? So as I mentioned before, foliar is one of my favorite ways of doing it. This way I can over drench the leaves to the point that I'm actually making a soil drench out of it. Uh, all of my applications are at one to 1000. So one milliliter of EM to one liter of water. Uh, some other uses, you can put using water butts to help keep the water fresh and stop it going stagnant as well as using it in bird bars and ponds for the same reason if you've been hanging out for maybe the extras you can start creating your own bokashi brand that bokashi brand can be used directly in your worm bins or you can start bokashi composting and trench composting i use a similar method almost when pre-digesting or when I'm collecting my food scraps from my kitchen waste I will apply a spray of EM which is in my opinion starting the breakdown process but it also really stops any smell coming out of that kitchen caddy that everyone has sitting around like I mentioned it does kick off the microbes that breaking down that material so when it does get into the worm bin, it seems to digest a heck of a lot faster. So if you've got any other uses for EM, let me know down in the description box below. Share it with the community. And I appreciate your time.